I'm Dr. Brett Gilbert, board certified endodontist, and I've been doing endo for over 20 years, and I love getting out and exploring what's new in the marketplace. And I wanted to bring that information to you. So let's get busy discovering together and explore what new products are out there. Welcome back to Inside Access, where we explore new endodontic products. And in this episode today, we're gonna to be discussing new products from Kerr Endodontics. I'm very excited to share these with you as they've come to me, I've evaluated them in my clinical practice, and there's some very innovative features that I think will be helpful for dentists around the world. So let's dive in and learn more about these products from Kerr Endodontics. Okay, and one of the first products we're gonna discuss is the new Apex Connect. So it's an electronic Apex locator that has some fairly innovative features that I think are really exciting, and I'm excited to share them with you. The next product we're gonna discuss is the Kerr Endodontics Elements Connect. So this is a cordless endodontic motor. It has several different features that are important to highlight, and it's interesting because the Elements Connect and the Apex Connect actually do connect together and become one device for real-time Apex location while filing. So I'll show you that in just a bit. The next new product we're gonna discuss is the Zenflex One system. This is a reciprocating file system from Kerr Endodontics. Zenflex One is designed to be reverse fluted, so it's used in a reciprocation motion. It obviously does come with its own gutter perch as well, so it is a complete system. And this is gonna be able to be used within the Elements Connect motor, and I'm gonna show you and demonstrate that as well. So we have three new products to discuss. Let's dive in and look at the details of each one. Okay, so here we are with the Apex Connect electronic Apex locator, and let's take a look at what's in the box. So when you open it up, you're gonna find several different components. You're gonna see that you've got the unit itself, the unit body itself. You're gonna have, obviously, power cord. You have here uh, a collection of lip and file clips, and also a probe as well, as you can see here, which makes it really easy to utilize the unit, and the additional part of the power cord. Okay, so the Apex Connect has a number of different features here, and I wanna show you the, the components. First and foremost, we can power it on here with this left button. And so when we do, you're gonna see the CAL light up. CAL means that this unit actually auto calibrates. So it's automatically calibrated right out of the box. They've included a five foot lead cord. It's a little bit of a thicker cord than what we've typically seen with other Apex locators. Again, you have a very similar setup where you're gonna have a connection to a lip clip and they give you five of them in the package. And then you'll see a little more of a bolstered connection between the file clip here with this more robust connector here. Obviously this will go into the side of the apex locator here. And again, you can see just the connections are very solid, very, very stable. And so ultimately what you're gonna do is you're gonna use this how you normally would, except understanding that you already have the calibration connected. The other feature that they give you is gonna be this probe. So this is a very helpful probe. It goes into the little holder here, and then this will be in lieu of the file clip. So we'll take the file clip out here and put this in here, and now this will be actually the, the source here. Now one of the unique features that you'll see on this unit is how it lights up. So you'll see that it lights up not only on the unit, but also, as you'll see on the file probe. And that's very, very important. Same thing with the lip clip. If we reattach the lip clip here, you'll see that one of the coolest features is this lighting. So when you'll see this, you see that the little file clip is actually lighting up in correspondence with where you are. So red being out the apex, uh, yellow being right on the money, and blue being that you're still more coronal, okay? And we'll demonstrate this in just a moment. Okay, so the unit is powered on here with this button on the left and that powers it on and off automatically. Now it does have an automatic shut off as well. So the calibration is set automatically, but we can use these buttons on the right side for different settings. So if I click this, you'll see what it'll first do is show me where the apex is at zero, zero. Now what's important to know is you can adjust this. I typically find this to be the ideal sweet spot for it. Now if I click this settings again, then we're gonna get into the volume. You can see the volume is, is uh, blinking here. So I can make it louder, I can make it turn off completely, or I can make it softer. The next one is the off. This is gonna be the automatic shut off. It can be 10 minutes, it can be two minutes, three, four minutes, six minutes, eight minutes, 10 minutes. So for me, truthfully, if I haven't used it in two or four minutes, that's gonna be perfect so I can conserve the battery. And again, this is chargeable. 
So when I hit the settings again, we're ready to go. And so ultimately this has everything that you need to do effective apex location. And again, I'm gonna demonstrate this in just a few moments, but wanted to show you the features here. Again, this does connect directly to the Elements Connect motor, and we're gonna show you that connection here in just a few minutes. Okay, the next product we're gonna discuss is the Elements Connect cordless endodontic motor. So let's take a look inside and see what comes in the box. So we open it up, and when we remove the packaging, you're gonna see several different things. You're gonna see the charger, this is gonna be the base. So again, kind of get this out, and this has a, a port here for the batteries to charge themselves, and the cradle is more just to hold the unit. You have the unit body itself, Again, very lightweight. It's got a lot of really cool features I'm excited to show you. Again, uh, comes with two batteries, one that was already in the motor and one that is on the outside. It's got the contra angle head, and this will be used, of course, to hold the files. And then, of course, the power cord. Okay, let's take a look at the Elements Connect. This is the motor, and this has some cool functions. So this is the base, and again, it does charge, but it charges through this battery port here. So you have an extra battery always charging, and it's easy to just essentially flip the battery out. And if you were to run out of charge, just replace these and bring this right back in here, just like so. Um, you do have the contra angle. It is a two to one contra angle head. One cool feature about it is you can turn it. So if you have a certain angle that you need, you can turn this 360 degrees, which I think is pretty cool. So I'm gonna start by firing it up by hitting the little rheostat button. Now it is important to know that you can adjust this display for a right or left hander. And you can see it's blinking there, that's just from the camera angle here and the camera from the, from the GoPro. So basically what you're gonna be able to do is you're gonna be able to utilize this cordlessly. Now this again has some cool features that will connect to the Apex locator, which I'm gonna show you. Um, but let's take a look at the functionality inside. Okay, so one of the cool features that I like about this is that it has a dominant hand setting. So if you're a right-hander, you'll see that it can flip so that the screen is able to really serve you as you're working. So I think this is a really cool feature. You can also adjust the volume, obviously. You can adjust it up or down. You can leave it at zero. Um, and then the auto power off at five minutes, six minutes, seven minutes, eight. And you can see it goes all the way up to 10. And I believe it goes down to two. So whatever works best for you in your practice, even one minute actually, will work best. And that way it'll turn off and you can conserve the battery power. So these are the power and the actual settings that you can use initially just to make sure that you're comfortable with the unit getting started. Okay, so let's take a look at the display now in regards to the presets. So it has several different presets. This is gonna be M1, it's got M2, M3. These can all be customized. Then you'll see it goes into the proprietary files. This is Traverse Orifice Opener, Traverse Glide Path. This is gonna be Zenflex 04 Small, Zenflex 04 Large, Zenflex 06 Small, 06 Large. Then you get into the K3, and you can see that they're preset, and what you'll see is the on is the torque. The torque is either on or off for the proprietary settings. You have the adaptive functionality, which is full rotation with the reciprocation motion. You have a TF setting, which is straight 500 RPM. Again, the torque just being on or off. They don't want you to be able to over torque their instruments. Now the reciprocation motion is clockwise 30, counterclockwise 150 degrees. This is all preset. And again, the Zenflex 1 are reverse fluted file to accommodate this. So we can set these here. We can set the clockwise or counterclockwise, as you can see. You can set the RPMs either up or down. Um, and you can see 950, 900, 850, 800. Again, uh, you can set the torque uh, all the way up to four Newton centimeters on these. So lots of different options for any type of file that you use. What I like about it is very versatile. So in endodontics, you might like to do rotary instrumentation, you might like to do reciprocation instrumentation, you might like the adaptive motion. You have the ability to utilize any of them with this little cordless motor. It's very lightweight. Uh, again, the contra angle is autoclavable. We wipe the rest of it with cavicide, a cavi wipe, and ultimately it sits in this nice cradle and you have the ability to move this from room to room or if you're a traveling dentist, move it around with you very easily. So extremely versatile, lots of functionality built in. And one of the coolest things is that it actually connects to the Apex Connect so that you can do real-time Apex location. 
Okay, the next product we're going to discuss is the Zenflex One system. Now, this system has the files, it has paper points, and it has gutta percha that all match. So again, you have the Zenflex One, which is going to be similar to other reciprocating systems in the sizing. Uh, you have the small, which is going to be essentially a 20 with an 06 taper variable. You're going to have a primary, which is going to be a 2506 taper. The medium is a 3506 taper. And lastly, the large is a 45. 06 taper. So again, when you look at the primary file, which is going to be the, again, uh, listed properly because it is going to be the workhorse of the system. Again, it's marked with the red stoppers you might be used to. If you've used a system in reciprocation before, you have the yellow, uh, you have the red. Uh, obviously, when you come down into uh, ISO sizing, green standing for the 35, and then ultimately, uh, white is going to be your large. So again, it's very important to realize that if you've used other reciprocating systems, the adjustment here is going to be very, very simple uh, because the sizing is very similar, the color is very similar, and the motion. Again, these are reverse fluted files. They're meant to be used with reciprocating motion. And of course, we have that capacity to use it in reciprocation with the Elements Connect motor, and that's what I'm going to be demonstrating it in. Now, once you're finished with your instrumentation, of course, it's always so nice to have the matching uh, paper points, which again, really helps to uh, make things easy on you and your assistant, and then ultimately to have the matching gutta percha. Okay, so let's demonstrate the Apex locator. Again, this is the Apex Connect, and what you'll see, what's really cool, is that you actually get light up on the file clip, and this corresponds directly to what you're seeing on the display. So as I progress down, what you'll see is that the file clip will start to light up. It's yellow. Now look how it blinks red that I'm out in the apex. I think this is a really cool feature. When I'm using this clinically, I don't have to look back at where the unit is. And then I can back it out. And when I do, I hit the yellow range and I know that I'm now backed out right and I can get it right to 05, which is my preference. Uh, but knowing that I'm in the yellow, I can really zero in on where I am. So this dual light up feature is really, really cool. Okay, and the same functionality occurs with the file probe. As you see how it lights up, and as I progress down and going down into the canal, it'll light up red, indicating apex. And then when I back it out, you can see how it'll go and it'll light up yellow, letting me know that I'm back in the range of apex location, right getting back to that minor constriction, wherever you'd like it to be. Okay, so I'm back here with the Elements Connect, the cordless motor, and I'm going to fire it up. And again, the screen doesn't really blink like this, just the way that the, uh, the camera is picking it up. So I'm going to go into, and I'm going to get into, I'm at M1, and I'm going to go through adaptive, M2, M4, uh, traverse orifice, traverse glide path, which works very well with this system, Zenflex. And then ultimately, I'm going to get to reciprocation. And so again, it's a 30 degree clockwise, 30, 150 degree counterclockwise. And I'm going to go ahead and add the file. And then you'll see, very nice way, it's a very nice, uh, firm grip here on the contra angle. Uh, when I hit the button here, it's going to start spinning and doing the motion that is expected with the reciprocation motion. And again, you can see how it's blinking as well. And it's letting me know here on the screen where the torque is. And again, it's blinking, but um, that's where it is. So this is wonderful. Now, what's really cool about this, aside from all the versatility and settings and, and be, being able to turn the head again, to suit your needs in regards to location of the tooth and canal, and you can see I can even do that while the motor is running, is that this actually connects to the apex locator for real-time apex location. Okay, and so the way that these two work together and connect, so apex connect, elements connect, is you have a little port on the bottom of the motor here. And that will be where, instead of doing the file clip or the file probe, you would actually connect the two together. Okay, so when I set this up together in the connect mode, what you'll see is it says EAL. So this is letting me know that the Apex locator, the Apex Connect is actually connected. And now what we're gonna be able to do is we're gonna be able to utilize this. Now this would work in any functionality. It would be whether it was in the reciprocation. Again, if you were to go forward to one of these other uh, presets, you have so many of them here that you can choose from. Um, nine of them are proprietary for Kerr, which is for instance, the Traverse Orifice, Traverse Glide Path. Uh, but again, coming back to the reciprocation, because we do have the primary Zenflex one in the, in the 
uh, motor right this moment. And what you're going to see when we work on it is that this light will light up in the same way that it did on the Apex Locator file clipping file probe. So you're going to be able to monitor where you are in the same way that you'll be able to monitor on the Apex Locator. So let's take a look at this in action. So again, when I bring this in, what you're going to see immediately is you can see the light up on the rheostat button as well as here on the probe. So when I come back and I back it off, you're going to see how now it's yellow and then all the way up coronally to where the light will turn blue. So this mimics on the motor what you're seeing on the Apex locator. And again, I find this to be incredibly time-saving and helpful uh, to not have to look back at the Apex locator so much. So again, I bring it in, real-time apex location. Now, what's important to notice is that once it hits apex, it actually has a back-off setting. So what you can do when you reach apex is it will either reverse in three rotations to loosen it so that you don't over-instrument or straight reverse. So this is a setting that you can set. But you can see just how nice it is to be able to actually, in real time, be able to do your apex location and know that once you've reached the apex, it's not going to continue to cut and open up the apical foramen. So I hope you've enjoyed learning a little more about these new Kerr products. We've got the Elements Connect motor, again, used with the ZenFlex One file system. You can use this motor with many other file systems with four customizable settings, nine proprietary settings for all of the Kerr endodontics file systems, including reciprocation. So all of that built into one motor. So regardless of what file system you like to use, this motor can be used for all of them. Again, a cool feature is that it's 360 degree rotation. And again, it is able to connect with the Apex Connect Apex Locator to be able to give you real time Apex location while filing. Again, safety features built in as well as the color change on the lip and file clip or the motor when you're using them in conjunction. The ZenFlex One reciprocating file system. This is a new system from Kerr Endodontics. If you've used other reciprocating systems, you're going to find some similarity in the nomenclature. These do have an 06 taper, 20, 25, 35, and 45. And again, they have reverse fluting, which allows them to be very effective in the reciprocating motion. So and the ZenFlex One system also does have its own gutta percha and paper point, so it is a complete system. So when you're introducing this into your practice or if you've already been using other reciprocating systems, it's very nice to have these matching gutta percha that can make things very easy when you're going to obturate. So ZenFlex One, Apex Connect, Elements Connect, new products from Kerr Endodontics. I hope that you've enjoyed this review. So grateful that I could share these with you and be able to help you with your endodontic process. It's an exciting time in endodontics and many of the companies are putting out incredible products. So I really appreciate you joining me for Inside Access, exploring new endodontic products. This line by Kerr has been an exciting one. I've used them in my practice. I've vetted them and I give my seal of approval that for anyone who is doing endodontics in their dental practice, this lineup of ZenFlex One, Apex Connect and Elements Connect is a great opportunity for you to gain efficiency and be able to use something very versatile and lightweight, something core list that can really help you in your endo. So thank you for joining us. I hope you've enjoyed the review and looking forward to the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please like it and subscribe to my channel. Also leave any comments or questions below. I would love to hear from you. I would love to interact with you. And if you have any products that you'd like me to review, please let me know, leave a comment and I'll get back to you. So thank you for watching the video and have an awesome day.